What up, ladies and gentlemen? How you doing? Jason Heine here, Emulator Review, back at you with another review. And today, I am looking at a magnificent game called Micro Machines V5. Well, I mean, I'm just kidding, but I'm, I'm actually not kidding because that's exactly what this game is. This is Toy Box Turbos, released by our good friends at Codemasters, November 11th, 2014. This game is available for download on Steam, Xbox 360, and PlayStation 3 for the retail price of $14.99. I gotta tell you something, I had no idea that this game was even in the works. I didn't know it was coming out. I didn't know Codemasters was behind the scenes doing something like this. Guys, this is like a dream come true, and, and any of you who follow me, you know that I'm like the little car racer or, you know, mini racer, huge fan. I'm like a mega fan. I love these type of games. They're right up my alley. I grew up playing them. They are my jam. And so to have something like this come out is awesome. But, you know, a lot of people have been doing this recently. There's been lots of games that have been coming out that feature kind of miniature tabletop, isometric, top down, you know, style of racing. And <laughs> to get a game like this, guys, this is from the people who really brought it to the forefront, the people who really brought it to our team. TV screens back in the day. Codemasters, you guys, these guys are responsible for the original Micro Machines franchise and one of the greatest all-time, I think, tabletop racing games available is, is this right here. And what a surprise. I'm just blown away by it. So without further ado, I just want to talk about it. I want to show it to you guys. If you have played any type of Micro Machine game in the past, you know exactly what you're getting into. This is basically a brand new, fresh skinned, all new micro machine game and it's it's wonderful I, honestly there's there's nothing that i can say about it that i feel is bad it, it does everything i've always wanted a micro machine game to do and here we are again with lots of different vehicle choices map choices like you can race on kitchen tables pool tables inside outside it's just it's so much fun and i love it they've included things like online multiplayer local multiplayer power-ups it's in micro machine fashion you've got milk or syrup that will well, you know, milk will slide you around and syrup will, will stick you to the table a little bit. There's obstacles and big jumps and the physics are really good. The handling is really tight. It's just an amazing game. And I'm so thankful that they decided to do this because everyone's been wanting one. I mean, since Micro Machines V4, which up until this point, I was saying that that is really the definitive and best port of Micro Machines that you're going to get. I mean, I do really enjoy Micro Machines 64 on the N64. That's probably, man, some crazy multiplayer mayhem there with the pad share eight player four controllers that's amazing but to get this on our you know i guess i can say current for the most part current gen consoles and pc is really a treat and a surprise Codemasters is responsible for some of the greatest racing games out there. The Grid series, the Dirt series, the Formula One series, the list goes on. But this game specifically is done by the team of people who brought original Micro Machines franchise to the gaming world. And that's why this game is so special and very important. You know what this game feels like to me? It feels like a good old fashioned family reunion. No, family reunions suck ass. Feels like a high school reunion. Oh no, those suck ass too. Those are almost worse. You know, this feels like, this feels like a nice warm bed with me in the spoon cuddle position on a nice cold winter evening. Oh wait, maybe I'm thinking of the guy game. But whether we're talking about the guy game or toy box turbos, we are having a blast playing because Micro Machines has always been a pick up and play type of a game. Of course, you have to kind of figure out the camera angle a little bit. And what's nice is they even pay homage to the original games by giving you an option to select the original top down viewpoint that they had in the original Micro Machines games back in the NES and the 8-bit consoles. Each course has different obstacles and shortcuts, some that you can see pretty clearly and some that you have to hunt for. But it makes for very interesting gameplay because finding the shortest route to the finish is always the right way to win. And back to the fight, a Micro Machine staple, the power-ups. Back with mines, machine guns, rocket launchers, and a whole host of other weapons are right there just to piss off your opponents. Micro Machines has always been known for its variety in vehicles to choose from, and Toy Box Turbos definitely does not disappoint. You can choose everything from school buses to diggers and cranes, from of course your street and race cars to your off-roaders, and even to futuristic moon vehicles. 
Turtles. What? I think it's called a moon buggy. Racing by yourself, single player on Toy Box Turbos is lots of fun with a ton of replay value. They give you four or five races per map doing different things like elimination, time trials, straight up racing. And then the last race, it's like a boss battle. It's a one on one race. And if you do win that race, then you also win and unlock that vehicle you were racing. Very, very cool. Another added bonus for the replay value in single player is that every section has leaderboards and stats that you can do global, worldwide, or you can do on your friends list. And I'm sure this would apply on your Xbox 360 friends list and PlayStation friends list. And also for PC, it does work for all of your friends that are on your Steam list. So you can go and race, time trial, elimination, a bunch of other games and try to get the highest on the leaderboard. I got to tell you something. I was friggin' addicted to it. And as of recording this, I do hold the highest score in section two for I think two or three different maps in there. It was a ton of fun and I am looking forward to progressing and playing more of those. It's all good and fun, but you guys know Micro Machines. The real fun comes in when you kick on the multiplayer. So here's some footage of Stephanie, my friend Brandon, and myself going down, getting crazy in Toy Box Turbos. There really is something special about, you know, actually playing with your friends on a game. It, there's something about it. I mean, playing with AI is one thing, but when you have a real battle on your hands, it gets so intense and it's just such a blast. This is the perfect game to do that with. I'm so happy that they included multiplayer, online multiplayer, that is. I mean, that's something that I think Micro Machines V4 could have definitely benefited from. I think they, were, they could have done it, and I think that game could have been ported to more than the consoles they had at the time. So... It's nice to see this here. I'm just thrilled to have it. And what a blast. I mean, I feel like a broken record saying it, but this is a fantastic game, you guys. I'm so happy it's here. Thank you, Codemasters, for bringing it back. This really, I mean, you guys are just sliding us right under the carpet here. No, I didn't even know about it. So what a surprise and a treat. I had to sit down and do just, a, you know, my thoughts and review on it. And hope you all have enjoyed it. I highly recommend you pick up the game. I think at $15, even that, it's worth every penny. I know it will go on sale. I mean, that's a given, but I feel even at 15 it's well worth it i would have paid a lot more for something like this especially from the originators from code masters that core group of developers so thanks for watching you guys hope you've enjoyed the video and we'll see you out there on the pool table or kitchen table or workshop table or science lab or where else can we race on a school desk or a school desk see you there